What's up guys? Um, so another video here, uh, been working on some stuff and just haven't make, been making any videos. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and admit right now that what you're about to watch is not my best work at creating video, but um, I'll explain myself along the way. I wasn't planning on making a video on this, but uh, decided to at the last minute. Um, so a few months ago, I was looking into, well, I, let me back up. So a few months back, we sold our camper. Um, I enjoy camping. Um, anybody who's friends with me on Facebook, you've seen, you know, we've, we've camped in the past and then we ended up buying a camper for, for some uh, other reasons besides just going camping. Um, so, and, and we began to enjoy that and not, um, you know, primitive type, somewhat primitive glamping. But, um, anyway, so we sold the camper just for, for budget reasons and we just didn't need it anymore, uh, right now in our life. So well, we've had it for like three years, I think. Um, but so anyway, so we sold the camper and I started looking into other, you know, options for tents because sleeping on the ground, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm 41 years old and it's just, uh, it's tough to sleep on the ground. Um, uh, air mattresses are kind of a pain. Um, so I was looking for some other option, some other, some other method. Uh, I ran across some rooftop tents. Um, I'm sorry if the wind is affecting the video. So I ran across rooftop tents and uh, kind of fell in love with the idea. And at the same time, I ran across, uh, I, you know, I'm always like into DIY and I was like, man, you know, it's just a platform with a tent on it, right? Uh, and they cost a lot of money and, and I still want one. I still have it, you know, it's still in my future to go and purchase one exactly like I want. So don't think this is an end all, uh, but it could be if you're handy enough. Um, anyway, so what I done, I found these roof tent, two rooftop tents and then I, I uh, doing some research, I, I, I always look for, you know, DIY rooftop tent. And first thing I popped up was uh, Patrick Remington's page and he had posted a couple years ago a um, uh, YouTube page YouTube site and he had posted a video of uh, his budget build of a rooftop tent now at the same time he has many videos of building like clamshell style and very expensive uh, but he had put one together, uh, basically, I mean, it's, it's a lot more than this, but you know, an oversimplification of it, basically some hinges, plywood, a ladder and a tent on top. And that's it. And very simple, uh, no sewing involved, no sewing needed. Uh, if you're, you know, if you like it the way he done it. So I highly advise you to go to Patrick Remington's YouTube page. And if you're really interested in doing this, go to the YouTube, I mean the, uh, Facebook page as well and uh, join up on the DIY um, Facebook group and just go through there and read how people are doing it differently. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of these videos you're about to watch here, uh, I post those updates there. That's, that's why I was taking these videos, uh, sometimes looking for information, how are you guys doing this, whatever. So go check that out. Uh, this is by no means meant to be a detailed, comprehensive way to build a DIY tent. I am just showing you my version of the Patrick Remington No So tent uh, clamshell. It's kind of like the Tapui or or anything else. Um, and I think I've done a really good job. Um, I'm I'm really I'm heavy. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot tall, uh, 300 pounds. Um, you know, I had to build it beefy and sturdy. So I just want to get all that out of the way uh, before we move forward. So what you'll see first is um, me bending the tubes uh, that hold the tent frame up uh, and go together with the hinges. So we'll snap into that. This Wakeman Outdoors pop-up tent.
Alright guys. I uh, found a new way to bend this conduit if you have a Jeep or a spare tire or a tire mounted somewhere. Um, I mean beautiful bends too. So 33 inch, if you got bigger, works out even better. <coughs> but what I did was the other one was kind of trial and error, but uh, I've got a 48 inch wide surf uh, area. So I figured out I needed a 10 inch straight in the center. This is the center point. I went five inches either way. And what I did, I just made these marks to know, and it seemed to work the way I've got mine set up to put that center mark on my strap. The other ones are just for reference. And I stay kind of close to the tire. Do just like Patrick did. But uh, just bend it down. It is not hard at all. Just, just, I mean, literally in just a second, there it was, and you just pull it back out of your strap. All right, my peeps. Um, Little, little headway there on our tent. Um, that door is just naturally offset like that. As you can see, the top's kind of centered on my bars. Uh, just necessary evil, I guess. Um, I got, I've got the uh, actual working folding prototype, I guess you'd say. Um, this is kind of a hack job here, but uh, I got it connected here I've got my initial split made up to my pivot point I've already folded it so I know it's enough um, I'm gonna sew some seams here kind of tidy this up and then put me a uh, sew a piece you know across the top with some velcro to seal that up you know once everything is sealed um, any of you who are using this blue Wakeman that's oval shape <clears throat> obviously it's the struggle but um, Still working on really trying to get it as square as possible, but you know, more to come there. But it's got these tie down points. I just use the tie down points. And um, something to know on this cheap material is when you go to put these in, um, two ways you could do it, I guess. You could take a, a soldering iron and, and melt a hole through it and then use the screw. What I did was run the screw backwards and kind of melt it through and then turn it back the other way because if you just go to try to stick through it, it's gonna twist this material up and tear. You try to do it a couple times. So it's the only places I got it connected is the four corners and then the pivot point, um, just to uh, verify that, you know, it's gonna kind of work. But you see my hinges, um, those screws. Uh, let me try to do this without turning my camera back off. You see those screws right there holding that coupling. Um, there's a coupling here. Uh, half inch EMT, um, ARB hinges came with these black pieces. Uh, came with like actually double, but and I've got two sets. But uh, I use this coupling. You can follow my look back at my uh, other um, post in the DIY rooftop tent page, and you'll see these couplings. I put the part number. It had threads on it to force thread into the EMT. Um, but it was just too tight. Uh, don't really know how you're supposed to use them, but I shaved the threads off So it was just a straight shaft here and here um, And it perfectly fits inside this black this black piece and that EMT is the same ID uh, inside diameter so uh, Some other people use some PEX piping I think half inch PEX and it fit in there as well But I wanted something steel or actually it's made of aluminum uh, for, And this is that EMT pipe, but you get the idea. So I'm only using two for now. Um, let you see. So my idea, I'm gonna use nylon webbing or strap. Actually, uh, I know some of you said you were following my build. So I'm just trying to give you some details along the way because honestly it's hot and I come out here working on it. I really don't want to video things. Um, I ordered, I ordered this, um, give me an idea, sorry about the finger thing, 
So I ordered that off Amazon. I'll try to post the link later, but it's uh, quite a bit. It's 16 yards of one inch strap. So my idea is I'm going to uh, double in, uh, double the end wherever I mount this corner portion. You see it's got this uh, seam right here and that's kind of the stabilizing seam. I don't know what you'd call that honestly, but it's kind of the, when you pull everything tight, these are tight and it's got a reinforcement on the inside as well. <clears throat> so I'm gonna run that strap from here up. I was planning, I don't know for sure, but my idea, um, I was planning on making a, um, you know, like a loop and sewing it. Uh, sewing a loop like that um, when I find out where it's gonna land so that the strap will stay, you know, same idea, same concept as the uh, metal, uh, the, 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 the cables that Patrick used. Um, but I wanna do that to keep from having to put any kind of screws or anything, and plus it'll be soft. Um, and probably before final, you know, final makeup, sew some uh, covers on these bars to keep everything all smooth, because eventually it'll probably rub through the tent. Um, what else? Got these cool windows. Um, those of you using this tent and plan on using it, you know, more than like once, let me show you. It's got these like awning things on it. Um, I could see, I could see being able to mod that to actually be an awning with the awning poles, possibly, if you want to go through that trouble. Uh, I'm st uh, still undecided. This mainly is just like a, mo a cheap mock-up um, to determine, hey, <laughs> does West like a rooftop tent? Is it actually something he can use? Because it's just hard for me to drop, um, you know, thousand, fifteen hundred bucks in something that I'm not a hundred percent sure will actually meet all my needs. I think it will. I got a bad back, sleeping on the ground's hard. Um, most of the time, you, uh, I know you can't see it, but there's a Jeep out there. That's my Jeep and that's my truck. Um, the truck's more shiny show, that's our family car, really. Um, really fortunate to be able to say that. But uh, anyway, so I got the Jeep. I don't have a lot of room to carry around. And a lot of times I'm trying to. The idea is to mount it here on this remove the cargo carrier and uh, do that so catch up